what are introns good for? When did they arise in evolution? Where did they come from? Were they part of, a, of genes from the get-go in the first cell in the progenote? Here's what we know and what biologists are arguing about. Introns early. This is an hypothesis that says that genes in the progenote arose complete with introns, but that when eukaryotes and prokaryotes split in evolution, the prokaryotic organisms lost their introns, that is, their genes lost the introns, while the introns were retained in the eukaryotic cell lineage. Introns late. This hypothesis says that since most eukaryotic genes and some archaeobacterial genes are split, introns were acquired after the divergence of these domains from bacteria perhaps from viral infections or a transposon invasion of genomes that inserted introns into genes. This might shed some light on the argument. The genes in some organelles, mitochondria and chloroplasts, have introns. Even more surprising was the finding that these introns in many cases were self-splicing. That is, they did not use a spliceosome-like mechanism or other enzymes to bring the exons together and to ligate them. Could these split organelle genes be left over from the endosymbiotic events that created mitochondria and chloroplasts out of bacteria and cyanobacteria? That might imply that bacteria still had intron-containing genes at the time of endosymbiosis. If this were the case, would this support the intron's early notion? Well, the debate is not settled. These self-splicing mRNAs were the first RNAs to be tagged as ribozymes that is, RNAs with enzymatic activity. The first cells may have combined catalytic and information functions, not to mention energy storage functions, in the same nucleotide-based molecules, and in particular in RNA. So the first genomes may have been RNA and not DNA. This slide suggests that self-replicating RNA genomes in the earliest cells evolved a catalytic function enabling polypeptide synthesis. Then later, DNA genomes evolve, perhaps because it was beneficial to organisms to separate the protein-making functions of a cell from the informational or genetic functions of replication.